Hi everyone and welcome for those of you who are new to my world. I'm Natasha Bray. I'm a success mastery coach for women entrepreneurs who want to unlock the ultimate up level and that's up leveling emotionally, financially and spiritually for true success. And I'm here today with the amazing Candice and Candice is here to talk to you and tell you a little bit about the amazing shifts that she has had over the last six months. Um, and hopefully you can take away some lessons from what Candice is going to share with us today. So first of all, Candice, do you want to tell everyone a little bit about you and your amazing book, Big Rich Money, and also some of the awesome work that you're doing with influencer marketing? Yes. Well, um, Big Rich Money is actually the product of um, some of the healing that I've done in the Ultimate Up Level Academy. Um, it was born from um, what I would call work trauma, where I wasn't being paid or rewarded for work I've already done. And so then uh, I wrote the book along with my writing partner to give other women the tools to be able to, um, um, what do I want to say? to be able to have access to a marketing and business plan that would cost, you know, four figures if you had hired my, my business partner and I uh, to consult for you. But for people who were willing and ready to do the work for themselves, uh, we made it accessible in book form. I love that. Fab. So if anybody is interested in a business and marketing plan, um, maybe you're at the stage where you can't afford that investment one to one, they can get all of that in your book. Big rich money. Uh, I love that. So that's making that really important stuff more accessible to entrepreneurs and especially women entrepreneurs. Yeah. So we especially wanted to reach um, moms as a heart. We, both of us are moms. Um, people who you know are doing all the work themselves and just could use a little guidance. I love that. And. Can you tell um, everyone watching a little bit about what was happening for you sort of before you joined the Ultimate Up Level Academies? Um, what made you decide to join us? I have to say that work-wise, um, I was probably rock bottom. Um, I had gone through um, a work-related scam um, mm -hmm. and kind of watching these um, love scam shows that are popular right now, I'm seeing a lot of parallels in my situation. Um, I was hired for a very amazing, glamorous project and it, the contract involved an international move from New York to London. And um, as the months went by, um, I worked for three months on a normal salary from that person. And then it turned out that um, they were siphoning the investment funds just for personal use. So they were literally going on shopping sprees, just like something out of the movies and the money ran out and I had already broken my lease um, in New York and there was nowhere for me to move in London. So it was just a complete nightmare. And um, it really made me question my intuition and you know, all the, all the feelings you would have when um, something unimaginably terrible happens to you you're like why did I attract this you know what did I do to make this happen to me um, and I think, um you know that's such an awful thing to go through especially to the point of losing your home essentially right um, and a lot of people resonate with what you mentioned there where we blame ourselves when things go wrong when other people treat us badly or wrongly automatically we think is, is my fault yeah. right or how could I have a, or I think the root is we want to avoid it in the future so we're like what did I do to make it happen this time yeah 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 and it's highly traumatic experience to go through um <clears throat> and what so you were feeling rock bottom after this experience struggling to trust yourself by the sounds of it so I guess what made you trust yourself to in invest in the academy at that point? That's a good question. Um, I've I've been following everything that Natasha put out for maybe even two years. Um, I 
I know I joined um I, I joined Money Boot Camp around the time my daughter was born because I, I got it as a as a freebie with, when I bought B-School. Mm-hmm. That would be January 2019. And um, I think right away I was drawn to all the things, the success that you were sharing there. So then I started following you on, um, I think following you personally on Facebook and then you would come up in other groups. You're really good about sharing them. Um, your your wins um all across the internet and um I really think what brought me in to your world was when you did that that first flash sale you were talking about um because I I definitely wasn't like I said I wasn't um working or producing income during this time Mm -hmm. so um that was the first time I could afford to kind of join into your one of your programs and um I really what the environment you create is super supportive and inviting and I've always felt like people can be honest about where they are um, Mm -hmm. in your programs you know not not everyone is um, just gonna watch one PowerPoint and then have like a five-figure week or something (laughs) but it could happen but it didn't doesn't happen for everyone Um, so I felt safe that I could enter in and be honest about um, where I am. Uh, it also really resonated with me that you were a social worker. I was um, originally a teacher mm-hmm. and I made um, $29,000 a year with my master's degree. Um, so That's kind it. of really similar to, to you. Um, just knowing, um, I, I love your example of just showing um, normal people with normal education um, what's possible. And I just really felt that I could learn a lot um, through the, the mentorship of, um, and the different modules. I just really liked the way um, it was presented and laid out, so I wanted to join. And then I think when I was poking around maybe I went to a webinar or something and then um you messaged me (laughs) like to follow up and said you know are you interested like the deadline is coming up and that you just you lured me in and um I'm I'm glad that you (laughs) whatever made you you know stay stay on me to join um it worked and I I know that it was the right place for me yeah so um me following up the fortune is in the follow-up as they say following up after the webinar obviously it was part of your journey to to come into where you are now and you went on a journey over the last six months of healing the four success saboteurs we've got the out uh, the overgiver was where you began the overgiver success saboteur the imposter the outcast and the hustler which you're just about to finish up now mm-hmm. uh, Tell us what has changed for you in that time. Well, one thing that I'm just realizing about myself is um, I think that I have always had anxiety Mm -hmm. and I couldn't even really see it until I began to heal. And not have it anymore. (laughs) Right, right. Because it's like, and and I just wonder how many decisions I made um, stuck in that, um, fight or flight mode Mm -hmm. and how my life would have been different if I had known that there was like a different mode to to be you know a different way to view the world and make decisions I think a lot of high achievers and um you know hard workers they we do live in fight or flight without even realizing it until as you say then you like do some healing and you're like oh that that, I just feel so different to what I normally feel like where's it gone (laughs) I really do I even the past um week or so I've just been marveling at how much I can get done when with my anxiety diminished you know because you're not using all that energy to uh like be so like a scared rabbit it's kind of like when I was um when I was eight I got glasses and before that I was when we would go somewhere I would use binoculars to see things far away and and you just I was a kid, so I didn't know that other people could see those things without binoculars. So it's kind of like that, like you have no idea 
what um, normal is if you've never experienced it. So I, th my biggest takeaway is the healing that um, I think the, in, in every module there's, um, uh, I don't, I forget your trademark, like a heart healing meditation yeah, or- in, um, Success in printing session, but that includes heart healing as part of that as well, yeah. So I really love the success imprinting um, meditations. Mm. Uh, I, as often as I can remember, I try to do it every day. It's prescribed to do it every day, but um, that's... Sometimes life gets in the way. <laughs> it does. And I also, um, I have to prepare to fall asleep almost every time because that happens sometimes only for the 20 minutes of the recording, but... Um, I think that has been so good for me just to have that. Um, I think it serves to, it can replace anything that's on a negative loop in your head. And just to realize um, how healing that positive, continuous positive influence can be on a daily basis, just to replace your, your anxiety thoughts or your um, self-defeating thoughts. That's been really huge for me. And um yeah, that's what I would definitely um, miss the most about um, the academy. So, yeah, I'm thinking about doing the re-up because I, I really, I really need that. Well, we would love to have you <laughs> at levels um, over the next six months if you feel you want to stay. We would love that. Um, and and tell everyone. So, th so this anxiety, I guess, that you never even realized you were living with, has gone. So. Uh, more calm, more inner peace. Um, and what about your sort of work situation? How has that changed? Um, so I really, um, I would describe it almost as a fire hose. I started attracting so many clients. Um, and I'm not as far along in the, um, the passive income journey, but um, I right away, I guess in December. So I, I joined in August or September and in December I attracted truly an ideal client um, for um, a, a maker studio that's nearby in, in Brooklyn. And um, they agreed to pay me my rate. It's like a really cool place where you can learn how to do interesting things like make a lamp or make a skateboard. And um, the owner is always like, hey, like, why don't you take a class so you understand how it works? And I'm like, ooh, like, <laughs> you know, it's like a dream come true, like to do this research for work. And just a really cool person to work with that trusts my um, my advice on marketing and social media strategy and just a really cool environment too. And then I got, after that, I got contacted for a, a job that, um, actually I've been trying to get a role at this company for years and I had gone in person to an interview um, before the lockdown, so about February, 2020. And they had still kept um, calling me every now and then to say like, maybe this role would be a good fit or this role or this is coming up. Um, so um, they contacted me and said, would you be interested in this 20 hours a week um, position um, as an influencer marketing manager, which means that I'm sort of like a casting agent for great opportunities for people with um, with online um, identities, I guess. I don't know how to say that. Mm -hmm. So I, in my head, I call it bloggers, but it's not just bloggers anymore. It's Instagram people and TikTokers. And so I, I'm sort of the matchmaker between them and um, lucrative campaigns with brands. So that's a very fun role. Yeah, it's a, I, that's very unique. I've never met anyone who does that. Um, so. <laughs> Sounds very exciting. So you went from quite a dire work situation um, initially, um, attracted, well, just um, where you were taken advantage of, I guess, by um, experiencing that someone scamming you and then financial trauma to attracting amazing clients for the work that you really love, okay. which is incredible it's a big I think that shows the shift on the external of, of the shift that had happened inside and another 
amazing thing is the clients, the work that I'm doing, the people are so supportive. And, you know, I don't, I've experienced also where you've had a client where you can't do anything right and they're so critical. And for these people, I feel like I'm, when I do something very basic, then I get a lot of praise and it's, it's hard for me to get to get used to that dynamic, you know, like, wow, the spreadsheet is so innovative. And I'm like, wow, I just made a spreadsheet. It's pretty normal, but um, they're <laughs> impressed. So <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. I'll try to get used to that, you know. <laughs> and they appreciate you and they praise you sounds amazing yeah yeah it's like being um someone's favorite um child or something yeah <laughs> <laughs> how have things sort of changed have you noticed a change in your relationships um i actually have um i don't know if i can put it put a finger on it but i do feel more of um, more of a teamwork dynamic with my spouse um, yeah and I haven't even it's not even anything that like we didn't sit down and have a big talk like this isn't working we need to make it work um, it just sort of gradually happened I think um, no. and how have things um, up leveled sort of financially for you compared to how things were before um so one major one is that um you know in in writing like a monthly goal of like what would be amazing to make this amount um for years that has always been five thousand us dollars for me because that was about what i made when i was at my the best job i ever had mm -hmm. um about 1200 a month i mean 1200 a week so adding up to five thousand or so and um, this month when I, I have just been keeping track or just on a notebook paper of how much I make every day in, um, in value and in cash. Mm -hmm. So I realized by the 10th of the month, so not even the whole month, that I was already going to be um, at about 7,000 mm -hmm. cash. Oh my God, so you like... Oh. Only 10 days into the month and it's yeah you smashed that target of your best month ever already so maybe i should you know i should double my uh my goal next time to see what happens so you're very much potentially on track for your first five figure month yeah yeah and i think i think it really would be my first like in life <laughs> Which, which is amazing and again a testament really to the the you know the time and the energy you've put into this healing work because you're seeing a lot of that you know usually what's going on externally is a reflection of what we believe that we're worth and and on the inside and it's really amazing to see that those changes are happening for you because you deserve that you absolutely do and and I know this month's going to be your first ever five-figure month and the first of many to come. Um, how soon did you start to see changes? Because it's six months long and some people might think, oh, six months is such a long time. But how soon would you say changes started to happen? Hmm. Well, I'd say emotionally, I felt better early on. Um, and I always... Um, I always like sort of smirk at, and good naturedly at your concept of manifesting maps, but I love them. <laughs> and um, I really did start to not only um, make sure that I had time to do the work, um, which is a form of self care, you know, making that time and um, protecting that to even have room to listen to the to the recordings and do the journaling. So. Um, even that was like a small step in putting myself first in some way, which um, as a mom, I, I know that you know that that can get very easily neglected. Yeah. Um, so I think that was first like baby step and that helped me let go of some of my um, anxiety mm -hmm. because I, 
I've always been the kind of person that I, I would rather run towards something that's chasing me. I just I don't like that feeling of like something coming after me. Yeah. So, you know, I was never good at like playing chase, right? Because I just want to, just want it to be over. So I, mm. um, I'd rather get, get caught by the person that's it and then run forever and, and win. Mm. Um, so just even that step of just facing some of the thoughts and writing them down and even really in some of the healing you're you're asked to reflect on things and even in your childhood that I never really thought about and um when I did when I did a a one-on-one heart healing with Kirsty and she she did ask me um something based on like a a childhood experience and I was surprised at what came out of my mouth because it wasn't like something that I felt like I was carrying around like I didn't always look back at this moment and think like if only that hadn't have happened with you know um so it's it's interesting the layers that become exposed and by being exposed then um it's not a mystery anymore and, and it can heal um the whole process is really, has been really valuable. And I would say I saw results, emotional results um, right away within like two weeks. Yeah, yeah. And, and what you just yeah. like the hidden wounds, isn't it? The hidden stuff that we just don't even realize is impacting us. Um, and I really feel like that's where the gold is sometimes because we've usually done a lot of work on the things that we know about already. Um, but really like, you know, like the fact that you didn't realize you lived with anxiety because that was hidden. You thought that was just normal. Yeah, normal for you. So I really think that that's where a lot of the power comes from, the healing those hidden things that we just did not even realize were impacting us. For sure. And I, and I, I think that it is making me a better parent mm. because um, I understand myself better and I understand why I react to certain things, like ways that your children trigger you. Yeah. And um, I'm able to um, just have, have more understanding around that. And I just think that that's valuable in itself, even if it's not, you know, it doesn't, might not come with like a, a wad of cash, but it's invaluable. Yeah, you, those changes are priceless. That's why we like to talk about you know, of course, yes, there are financial shifts that happen and you're now seeing those amazing financial shifts as well. But that is the side effect of this emotional healing that, that you're doing. Um, and that then ripples onto your children as well, because your, as you said, your self-awareness is different. You, how you react is different. You're, it's almost like you're able to stop or, or react in a, in a different way than you might have before you knew all of this stuff which is what we call that you know breaking the cycle really of um creating a different emotional legacy for our our children and and financial legacy as well so thank you for sharing that um and just one more question if you don't mind what do you think is different about the academy to other things that you might have done Hmm. i think um, I live above a Thai place and they're like remodeling the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. I, I think what's different about the academy is that the focus is on um, work that really anybody can do, which is um, healing yourself, healing your, your wounds. Um, you know, there's not I, I guess I've seen programs that might be like, um, even like my own program that I wrote, you know, to help you make a business plan. Well, not everyone is at a place where they can make a business plan. They have to at least already have done some steps, you know, like like have a business to make a plan around. But really anybody can do um, the work in the academy. Like you, you don't need to wait until you have your business started or anything. Like you, you can start where you are. So I do think that's unique. Like it doesn't, and this work is still valuable if you um, have no business or if you're a CEO, you could still benefit from these healings. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, we, we do. It's, it's whatever 
level person I work with, whether they're just starting out or they're uh, even at seven figures. I'm just like, oh, you need the success saboteurs work in the academy, like whatever level, because they come up at every level you grow to. Um, so I do thank you for, for pointing that out. It's it's adaptable to anyone, whatever stage of business they're in. Um, thank you for sharing that. And for anyone watching who wants to find out more about you and the work that you do and maybe order your book, where can they go? Oh, I have a website, bigrichmoney.com. Amazing. Keeping it simple. That's the title of the book and is also the name of the website. So bigrichmoney.com to find out more about Candice's book. And um, is there like a, do you have like a Facebook page that they can connect with you on? Oh, I do. We, we have um, a group on Facebook called Insider Society. And that's supposed to be like the, the parent of amazing from the big rich money grew out of and I there is one more thing I could say that might be impactful um that between um another client that wasn't able to pay us um my co-author and I are owed a hundred thousand U.S. dollars nice. between two clients mm. so um yeah from going that's what could be more of an up level than that from from going to being owed about 50 grand you know 50 for me and 50 for her yeah to having um a four figure month with ease yes i love that yeah yeah it does go to show doesn't it the i think it's the receiving thing because you were doing this work and for some reason there was you know, not your fault at all, but there was something blocking you from receiving this money. And it was showing up in the situations that were coming up. But now you're attracting, you're receiving better clients and receiving the money for your work. Thank goodness. Yes, thank goodness. <laughs> I also got a call and nothing has come of this yet, but if something does, then you heard it here first. Um, I got a call about, do you know the show... Um, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Mm. It's these um, oh. four gay men that go and do makeovers for, for people, like full life makeovers. Um, so I got contacted about a show that would be the same premise, but with moms helping single moms. Mm. They had contacted me about being like the finance mom. Wow. Like on a TV show. That's exciting. Um, so yeah, so they haven't contacted me about like auditions or anything, but just knowing that um, my, my, yeah, my mantra has been, I get paid to be myself. Yes, I love that. Oh, and you've got to share the other thing that happened as well. Not, you're not the only one who's invited to a TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so it turns out I, I live very close to CBS um, studios. I, I live near um, the Rockefeller Center and everything like where SNL is filmed. So um, I had gone a few times to the Drew Barrymore show because I was walking by one day and saw people in line and I was like, what are they waiting for? So it was her show. So I just signed up and I went to the audience twice just to have like a nice afternoon to go to a taping. And I found out, I learned that my husband and Drew Barrymore had the same birthday and so I emailed the show because I was already started on an email chain from having been in the audience a couple times because they would ask questions like, who has a beauty question for Drew or something like that? Mm -hmm. So I emailed them and let them know that, hey, my husband and Drew have the same birthday. And it turned out that they had a plan to have a special birthday show for Drew where everyone in the audience had her same birthday. Oh, and so they invited him um, which is, you know, really not his typical scene, but just from being Drew Barrymore's birthday twin, um, he had a really fun time at the taping and, um, it was, you know, full of the Pisces energy. <laughs> so, um, then the result was he got sent home with about, I've, I've totaled it up and it's about $1,200 worth of swag so gift cards to order stuff um 
there was like a flattening iron in there that I that I took. <laughs> but just a really fun, unexpected, you know, best birthday ever. His birthday is 222. Their birthday is 222. Yeah. So she wanted to celebrate 22222. <laughs> Numerology-wise, that's a very yeah. cool number as well. So not only have you had amazing shifts for yourself and attracting some amazing opportunities for your husband too and some um abundance is spreading <laughs> yeah i also got um, a referral at my daughter's daycare that i didn't even know um uh i live above a couple of restaurants and there was a sushi place downstairs and they had a child and i guess asked my husband where our daughter went to preschool and so they went there too and and we got $500 off and I didn't even really do anything. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, everyone. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, I love it. Well, thank you so much for, for joining me today and sharing a little bit about your experience with the Ultimate Up Level Academy. Um, it's been amazing to see your journey. And I know this is just the beginning because the transformation snowballs, so it will continue to grow now. Um, Thank you for joining me, everyone. If you're interested in the Ultimate Up Level Academy, it doesn't matter what stage of business you're in, it can create huge transformation for you as it has done for Candice and for the other ladies that are in our academy. Um, just reach out. We enroll regularly. Um, we are enrolling right now and we, ha we have just a few more days actually to join us for this round. So get in touch and I can share that information with you and answer any questions that you may have. So thank you for joining us and that's it from us. Bye for now.